here. Uh -oh. Hmm? oh, look, the keys. They must have fallen when we fell. We were both right, as we always are. And now you, delinquent. Uh, but you must listen. Uh, in you go. Now, which of these keys goes here? Thompson? Now, let's wait till we arrive in Port Said and hand the criminal over to the authorities. You hear that, Snowy? We must get off of this ship. Let's start by checking all the possible ways out. Then, once we know all the possibilities, We'll choose the best option. Hmm, looks like a cargo elevator. Oh dear, the fuse is missing. Crikey, it's too high. I could open up that duct, sneak in and then... But what am I saying? I don't fit in there. But you could. from the outside. I guess I can cast this way of escape aside. Too high. A toolbox. Let's see. Oh, a screwdriver. That's convenient. Hmm, looks like a cargo elevator. Oh dear, the fuse is missing. Lucky, I could jump straight onto the boat. If I find a way to open the porthole, that is. Crikey, it's too high.
Hmm, we could swim to that boat. Ah, but I can't open it with my bare hands. All right, so, among all my escape options, opening that porthole to jump onto the boat seems the best one. But I need more strength to open it. So how do I do it? I know, if I tie something from the porthole to the lift and send it down... Hmm, but for that I'll have to find a fuse. Let's get on with it. I could try and unscrew that grid, but it's too high. I could try and unscrew that grid, but it's too high. I could try and unscrew that grid, but it's too high. Still looking for you, remember? Snowy, I knew you'd do it. Shh, quiet. Now, go hide, in case they spot me and you need to rescue me again. So I'm here, and that's the maintenance room. That's where I'll find the fuse. But I must cross the post office to get there, which is... that door. the door leading to the laundry, where the maintenance room is. I can't get through that door unless I make that sailor go away. He seems so focused that I could probably sneak past him. 
I can't tell if he works at the post office or not. Maybe I can make him turn around so I can see the symbol on his uniform. Looks like an interphone. Hello, can I talk to someone at the post office? You are now. Want to talk to the mail guy? He's right here too. No, no, I just need you to go to wherever you're supposed to be working now. So, you don't even know where I work, and yet you're giving me orders? Stop joking, whoever you are, alright? Crumbs, it didn't work. You hear me? I hear him, but I'd better stay quiet now. Whatever. That's weird. The light stayed on even after I stopped pressing the button. Which must mean it stays lit if another speaker is pressing their interphone's button. We interrupt our broadcast with breaking news. Territorial tension is increasing between the army and the nomads in the Khmer Desert. Here is a statement from Colonel Fouad. Now this could be really useful. Hmm, I think I already know how to use this. Scotch tape, what an invention. to change my voice now. Attention everyone, please stay alert for an important announcement. Ha! He works at the laundry. And he's expecting an important announcement. I don't want to keep him waiting. Laundry room personnel, return to your workplace at once. I repeat, laundry room personnel, return to your workplace, or you'll be fired. It worked. He's gone. Now I have to be careful if I want to sneak past the other sailor. Name all stops by law. Waste of time. There it is, the maintenance room. 
Why are we chasing a dog? It's ridiculous. A fuse. I'm so close now. Why doesn't it work yet? Dash, the cables are a real mess. fixed it. Now that I've fixed the lift, I can tie one end here and the other end to the porthole. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings.
what if I use it like this? initial scare, the fishermen kindly agreed to take us to Port Said. The trip was calm, the sea looked like a lake, and I had nothing left to do but enjoy the sun and the sea breeze. Once at the port, I soon found Professor Sarcophagus and made arrangements for our trip to the desert, unaware that the police were once again on our trail. A couple of days later, somewhere near Cairo, the professor got off his mule and instructed the guide to wait for us till dusk. However, we would never return. This very spot that we shall find the tomb of Chaos. Oh, what did I tell you? Here's the tomb. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, noble Pharaoh, here I am. The name of Sophocles' sarcophagus will be remembered by future generations. <laughs> A cigar? A cigar here of all places? How odd. And it just gets stranger what? and stranger. The pharaoh's symbol is on the band. I wonder what Professor Sarcophagus will make of it. <gasps> what in heaven's name? Sarcophagus! <sighs> it's as if he'd vanished into thin air. <gasps> Aha! Go on, Snowy, but be careful. What's that, Snowy? The professor's shoe. He has to be close. Professor? Can you hear me? Professor? It seems like the dangers the professor warned of are already here. Heavens, look at that! Well, everything looks quiet for now. I hope there's nothing else besides those loose pillars. I can't believe we're in an Egyptian tomb. <coughs> Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. This is a bit tricky, but the only way to get it right is to get it wrong first.
I can move pieces up and down to save them for later. symbol has sunken into the door. Perhaps we can open the door if we do the same thing with the others. Ah, easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. One piece is clearly different from the rest. symbol has sunken into the door. Look, Snowy, the professor was right about the mysteries in these tombs. If the two walls are connected to the center column, maybe the column is connected to the exit door. We did it! Oh no, a new melody. Got it. Well, what's a first without a second, and a second without a third?
Hooray! The professor would be so proud of us. Huh? Did the door just slam shut of its own accord? Look! The professor's other shoe. find a way to open it, or else we'll never find him. Don't you think, Snowy? <coughs> Snowy? <coughs> Snowy, where are you going? <coughs> Snowy, where are you going? Why are you running? Cave in at any moment. Be careful, you could get hurt. Maybe I should be careful too. And don't fall. We have no rope. I hope nothing happens to him. Come on, he's gonna be fine. He's the smartest dog in the world. Ouch! Why is the floor so hard? Of course, that's it. Have you picked up the professor's scent? But then, why can't he hear me? Stop! Snowy, answer me! Scent or uh oh, what's that rumble? Not again, Snowy, come here. Snowy, be careful! It's full of traps around here! No, 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 no! Yes! Good thing he's too small to fall into them. Too bad I'm not. Traps can only mean one thing. Just one thing. We're getting closer to the tomb of Kiosk, and probably also to the Professor. But wait, the Professor spoke of a curse. And no Egyptologists ever come back. Maybe. Maybe that's the curse of chaos. Run till you go mad. Snowy, stop! Come back here! Now! You're in danger! Listen to me! You've been hit by the curse of Kiosk! 
Snowy, why did you run like that? A beetle? But you can't just... I mean, we're lucky to be alive. Don't worry. What's done is done. Now, let's find a way out of here. 